Good morning guys, I thought I would pick up the camera and film today because I have a few things that I think you might enjoy watching. I've just finished filming this makeup look for an Instagram reel. I went for a little pink, soft, slightly 60s makeup. I actually really like how it's turned out and I might even try doing this sort of angled down eyeliner more often because I think it's quite flattering and it's a bit different. I like it. I've also been taking pictures of my wash bags because I'm restocking at the end of next week and I like to have some new pictures to go up on my Instagram so that I'm not just reusing old pictures but I'm just uploading the same bags in the same fabrics so hopefully by the time this video goes live they will be about to go live or they will have gone live and hopefully there'll be some left. Um, but yeah, these are the last ones I'm making for quite a while now. I'm going to have a break, reassess what I'm going to do, <laughs> and then maybe make some more. But I think this will probably be the last round of these colours. Um, I don't have too much fabric left of these ones to make too many more. This is the pink linen one, boxy pink linen, and I have quite a few of these and the white ones. I only have like one or two of the multi-floral now because they were very popular. I've been utilising the gorgeous sunshine this morning to take some pictures in here of the bags. I had a very big urge to go to Bista Village this morning but I've managed to get myself out of that um, because I don't need to go today. It is Black Friday today so hence why I kind of wanted to go but I also thought it would be heaving and I'm actually off to Cornwall at the start of next week so I'm gonna go on my way back to my parents house because then I'm going from there and it just makes sense to go then. I've not gone crazy this Black Friday, thank goodness. Well, there's still the rest of the day to go for me to go crazy but I don't think I will. <laughs> um, but the thing that I have purchased is a coat from And Other Stories. I'll put a picture up on the screen. I don't know if it's gonna look nice on or if I'm even gonna like it. So I've given that a go because I really want a coat that goes sort of to my knees or even past my knees because I get such cold legs and I hate having a draft around my sort of midriff when it's cold outside. The downside is it doesn't have a hood and it's not waterproof, but it is impossible to find a reasonably priced down jacket with a hood that is slightly water resistant. <laughs> so yeah, I've ordered one from there and then I also ordered um, some Christmas presents and little presenty things from Zara. This jumper that I'm wearing is also new. It was very kindly gifted from Bowdoin and they also sent me a few other things which I thought I would share. This is a cashmere jumper and it just feels Oh, it's so soft. I'm a real sucker for cashmere and it's such a good investment because it does keep you so cosy without feeling super bulky. Like this is super nice and lightweight and thin. Like I can really layer on top of this if I want to. And it's got the sweetest little puff sleeve detailing. And look at this color, it's just insane. They come in so many different colors and I also picked up this one. Um, which is just very me. A very, very light pink with a slight bit of grey to it. And I just think I'm going to get so much wear out of these jumpers. And then another cashmere item, this one is a more chunky knit and it's a little vest and this was styled on the website with a white shirt sort of poking out the top and the sides and it looks really nice and I love this colour. It's gorgeous. It's actually got lots of different colours within the knit, but I just thought this would look so good with jeans and a white shirt or even like layering jumpers. It would just be really good for a core layer in the middle. And then finally I was drawn to these gorgeous wide leg jeans in this gorgeous indigo colour with a super chunky hem. And I love a really thick hem like this on jeans. I just think it's so flattering. It makes them look really, really luxurious. I'm very excited about these. I might even try them on right now for you guys so you can see what they look like on. I've been living in these joggers recently from uh, Brandy Melville. They are so cozy because they've got that really nice 
soft bit inside. If you are interested in these jeans, I would say size down maybe because they're quite oversized. Like this is a size eight and there's some quite a lot of wriggle room in there. But then it does come with this denim belt. But if you're not wanting to wear the belt, yeah, you could definitely size down in these. They are quite roomy. Super high-waisted, very wide leg. But I don't have anything like this, to be honest. And I thought it would be really good for layering thermals under because there's obviously so much space for the thermals to be <laughs> underneath. So when it's really cold and I still want to look quite stylish, I can wear these with some nice boots and I'll have loads of thermal leggings underneath and be nice and cosy. I'm going to take these off now because I'm going into Oxford tomorrow and I kind of want to wear them then so I'm not going to risk mooching around the house in them. I'm going to put the trusty joggers back on. <laughs> quickly tie my hair up because I cannot do anything with my hair down. <laughs> now I'm ready to go and decorate a Christmas tree. <laughs> I just remembered it's about a whole 10 degrees colder downstairs so I'm going to put my cosy little jacket on from H&M and now we're ready to go and decorate the Christmas tree. Our house is an ice bucket because we're refusing to put the heating on yet and probably going to refuse for a lot longer because it's going to be so expensive. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to be in like full on scarf, hat and gloves the next time I start filming a video. <laughs> the tree is already up and now I brought all of my decorations back from home and we're going to decorate the tree. I'm very excited to open these boxes because I can't really remember exactly what I have. I like saving really pretty PR boxes to put my decorations in. This one has baubles that I actually got in a charity shop and just changed the top bits to have a pretty little bit of velvet ribbon. Um, so I've got loads of those and then at the bottom of here I've got my lights so I'll need those first. What is in this Christmasy box? Oh, Ooh. yeah I also need to hoover the floor in here but I thought I'd do it after decorating the tree because certain things might have bits that fall off them. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm reunited with my favourite little ones. And then I've also got all of my paper ornaments that I made last year um, using my Cricut. I will try and link the video if I remember. We'll put it up in the up somewhere up here right now so you can see how I made these last year. They turned out really well. Got some cute little wooden ones. Look. Found my bag from this year and these little mice. Amber bought me this and another one, but I can't I think it might be in this bag. Um, and then I picked up this picked up this rather magnificent unicorn <laughs> in TK Maxx. And you know it's a ginger horse, so I've got to keep the ginger theme going. I picked up another bear from Burford Garden Centre because it's just adorable. Oh and my little pig! I picked this up this year as well. How cute. The trick is always trying to get them on the tree before they go in Florrie's mouth. Um, so let's just get started. Whereas I can't leave these out for too long. <laughs> just found another box of paper goods. And this house actually, for the previous owners, left hooks up all around the ceiling in here. So I could actually put these up. First we need lights and Christmas music. Flory? No. She's already started. Flory, don't eat it. Don't actually eat it. Very careful. Oh. Careful. Okay, be careful with it. There you go. I did try to bribe her with her own toy, but she did not care. So now she's eating that one, which is fine, because I don't care about that one very much. Don't actually chew it though, Flory. Just play with it. Just play. Just play. 
Boom, boom, boom. Rrr, boom. Quite stressful with Florrie, but she's finally settled down down there now that she's realised that she can't have every bauble and she's destroyed one of them, but that's okay. <laughs> I thought I'd show you my little ceramic doves that I made. So I made a few of these in my ceramic class this term. It doesn't want to face the right way. And I just thought they were really sweet and very easy. I just looked on Pinterest for ideas. So I'm going to add these to the tree. I think the white garland last year I used it for on the tree. Um, but this year I think I'll use it as a garland. tree and the little decorations are done for now. I'm going to leave it and just add to it every now and then um, and I'll probably insert a clip of what it will look like in the dark because trees often look much better at night time. And yeah, I'm very grateful for the previous tenants who left up little hooks in the ceiling. I think they had fairy lights when we came to look at the house so that's what they used it for but I've now used it for my garland. Christmas tree is done and now I promised my mum that I would make a wash bag for my sister's Christmas and I'm going to see her next week so I need to give her a Christmas present then so I technically need to make it now or yesterday. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I've done it so many times now that I will be nice and quick at this. So my mum picked out the fabric that she wants for the bag for my sister and it's this really cute Hannah Dale, I think that's the name of the illustrator, um, fabric and my sister is animal obsessed so I think she will like this and I'm going to sit here and quilt it and then put it together. It's now dark outside but it's only been like <laughs> half an hour um, and I finished her little bag. It looks so cute in this print so hopefully she will like it. I now need to go and seal the end of the tie, stuff it with some paper and that is it. Check there's no loose threads and this even looks a little bit like her sister. <laughs> okay. Let's get this stuffed. The bags are all drying with the nail varnish on the little tags because then they stops them from fraying. Just waiting for those to dry and then I can put them away into something and that will be that. And then I need to do some website stuff this evening and pack for going to Cornwall. Oh, let me go and show you the Christmas tree now that it's dark. It's 
So there we go, I think I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. That was a day in my life, basically. A very festive one. Um, I'm so happy the tree is up now. It just looks so nice and cosy in here. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video.